Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Post interview. Today we have invited someone very special from the financial world. He is Mr. Mickey, Mickey Winitsky, the CEO of Investing.com. Welcome. Mm, thank you. So Investing.com, when it comes to financial analysis, it's, it's huge. It's the big player. However, uh, average uh, well, students, maybe audiences, no, average citizens, they're not familiar with Investing.com. So how did it all start and where is it now? So Investing.com started back in 2007 as a, um, a way of, of giving um, CFD brokers an ability to gain uh, potential customers. Uh, it often grew from um, expanding into other areas, CFD, uh, other asset classes, into uh, bonds, uh, uh, forex, uh, forex pairs, everything essentially has to do in within the, uh, the, the financial uh, uh, industry. A few years later, um, because the, uh, the, the, because it wasn't, the, the, the first name was actually Forex Pros. Mm -hmm. That was the first name. It was only covering Forex. Once the industry started to grow and, and expand and the company started to expand together with that and there were more, more products, uh, the, the, the idea of expanding into another brand, of using another brand that, that on a more a uh, fair level gave a real name that actually represent what we actually do. We acquired the URL uh, investing.com for a lot of money mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was investing.com and since then uh, that has been our brand name and that has, has helped us also to represent what we actually do and also to uh, gain a lot of uh, brand recognition. Mm -hmm. So what's the current status of the investing.com when it comes to financial analysis, provi uh, providing financial information? Today we're seen as we're widely seen as the fourth largest financial portal worldwide. Mm -hmm. We have an aggressive uh, goal to become the largest financial portal in the world by mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. We do this by almost 300 employees spread out in more than five offices around the world. Mm -hmm. um, we today are connected to a large amount of uh, exchanges. Uh, we have more than 100 exchanges that we, we're connected to, getting all the data. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, we're connected to more than 180 crypto exchanges. Mm -hmm. We cover more than 200,000 assets, security assets. Um, except this, we have, we provide, we, we essentially build a home for, uh, for any and all information for the uh, active participants in the financial markets. Mm -hmm. We provide tools, charts, quotes, uh, indicators, uh, uh, analysis, uh, calculators for anyone that wants to take a decision of what to do in the financial market. Uh, it's enough to come to us. Um, we do this in uh, 30 languages. Mm -hmm. We have 20, 25 languages, then another five languages in, in, in English. Mm -hmm. We do this, we, we reach over 200 countries around the world. And we do this real time and we do all that for free. That's basically 200 countries. That's basically everybody around the world, right? More or less. <laughs> so uh, Investing.com projects 60 million profit this year. However, the service of Investing.com is provided free. So where is all the profit coming from? Good question. We have uh, most, of our ad, most of our revenue comes from ad revenues. Mm -hmm. um, advertisers out there that are interested in our target audience. Mm -hmm. Because we build up a, such a, a focused vertical, Mm -hmm. And the, the segment that come to our, our website are, in, are all interested in the financial market that creates a unique uh, marketplace for a certain type of people and that is being attracted by advertisers that want this, uh, want this uh, population. So that's where, that's where it comes from. It, it creates a, a high quality customer uh, segment mm -hmm. with high intent users. So for the... Uh giving out financial information itself, you guys don't charge any fees, even if it's a big company? We don't charge any fee. We have, that's the name of the game for us. That's our, that's our secret sauce and that's our, our, our core uh, values that we're giving any and all information in all the languages of all, all platform, everything's for free. And we have a lot of the tools on our website, such as, for example, the economic calendar, mm -hmm. which is today widely seen as the best economic calendar in the world. Mm -hmm. Um, it's for free. While on and, uh, most of our other our competitors, it's um, it's premium uh, in terms of that it costs money. Mm -hmm. So for us, uh, it doesn't cost money. It won't cost money in, in the future. Um, that's that's the name of the game, and that's what we're famous for. So moving on to the realm of crypto and blockchain, uh, you are a big player in the financial market. 
and investing.com indeed do support the crypto trade infos. Investment wise, personally, would you recommend your peers to invest in crypto? Except my dad that I recommended a few years ago, a certain stock that completely crashed. Since then, <laughs> I haven't recommended anything to anyone. Um, <laughs> what I do think is a healthy view is if you have some money, you do invest in the financial market to take between one and 2% of your fortune, of your capital invested in, into crypto. I think that will be a wise and healthy view uh, of your own portfolio in order to spread things out. So if you don't mind me asking, uh, could you tell us your crypto investment portfolio, if that's not too much trouble for you? Yes, yes. Um, I, I, I do have a crypto uh, portfolio. I, I, I did start out quite, quite early mm -hmm. uh, and I've been kind of ambivalent what, what to do since then, like we all are, mm -hmm. uh, consuming a lot of information. Uh, in most, it, it, it's, I most hold the, the top, top coins, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm less adventurous. I'm a more of a traditional person, <laughs> uh, less of, less of a risk taker in that in that sense. So most of the most of the portfolio contains that. And and just to tie it into in, in, in investing.com, um, it's very easy to to follow your portfolio. You can build your portfolio on investing.com. Mm -hmm. And one of our main features is um, alerts. Mm. And the stop loss alerts so and the gain alerts? Yeah, well, any, any alerts. If there's a certain currency pair or a certain asset that reach a certain limit, mm -hmm. then you get a message. It can be on your phone, it can be in your, on the website, it can be in an email, uh, and obviously it's for free. Mm -hmm. so that's, that, so that's what I do. Since you're a crypto investor yourself, I'm pretty sure you're aware volatility is a huge issue when it comes to crypto. It's also the factor pushing potential investors away. So financially speaking, what would be the main cause behind this phenomenon? The, the volatility, you mean? Why there is volatility? Yes. I, I, I don't think that volatility is, is something bad. Mm -hmm. I think volatility attracts, first of all, it attracts people. It attracts people that are looking for, for something new, something mm -hmm. exciting. I believe that the, the, the crypto frenzy or the crypto craze that happened at the end, end of last year was a mix between the early adapters and people that wanted to kind of get on the bandwagon, not to miss out. And that, mm -hmm. was, that was the that was the reason why it, it, it grew into 20,000. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, what be, that's what became crazy and, and it kind of exploded. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that that exploded and reached now, it's now 7,400, mm -hmm. the, 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 the Bitcoin. I don't, I don't believe that it exploded because it's, there, there's no value to it, but rather because it was too early. Mm -hmm. But then uh, one claim I received was that the volatility is due to the size of the market. Since the market size is small, 24-hour uh, investing causes movements on the markets itself. So do you believe that once the market size expands to become mass adopted, massively adopted, would you, do you believe that the volatility issue will be solved? I believe that, yeah, it's, 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 it's almost for sure. As, as regulation comes in, as, as, as the mass market uh, comes in, as moms and pops uh, uh, comes in, it, it becomes much easier to, easier and more transparent and without these crazy fees. Uh, once the mystery slows down, I believe mm -hmm. that the volatility will, will, be, will be solved and it will be more comfortable for the, for the mass market to come in. It will be less of a risky uh, investment type. So when it comes to the technology itself, blockchain, so it's deemed as the most disruptive technology you know, ever since the internet. So what's your take on blockchain technology itself, socially and economically? Right. First and foremost, I, th I think it's, <sighs> we can't ignore it. It's, it's nothing that we, that we can know. It's, it's, it, and it's here, and I believe it's something that, that will stay. In 2017, there were more than 27,000 blockchain startups in the world. Mm -hmm. 2018, that number was surpassed in the first six months. Mm -hmm. Again, it's something that we can't, we, we, we can't ignore it. The way the fiat money, the US dollars and the yen and the one and the, and, and the other currencies, it doesn't really suit the way we do business today and the, and the way we buy uh, our, our buying, buying uh, pattern today. Transparency, cost, the middleman, the security, all these things, it can't be ignored. Mm -hmm. And I think if, if, it's, if it's Bitcoin or Ripple or, or, or Jet8 or, or whatever it is, um, that I don't know. Mm -hmm. But blockchain and cryptocurrency, I believe it's here to stay. And I've been looking into seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. I believe that that will be the main currency of the world. I think really even saying seven, eight years, it's quite quite uh, aggressive, but I think that within seven to 10 years, I think that definitely will happen. That will replace all other currencies. So you project seven to 10 years. And if crypto does achieve mass adoption, legal issues will be a big problem because uh, 
the major disruption in the financial market would mean that governments would have to make huge changes to their policies on taxes, maybe trades. So how should such matters should be dealt? I think I'm not the right person to ask for that. <laughs> I, 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 I do think there's other people that, that uh, focus on, on that, that area of the industry uh, much more. I, I do think that what will happen is that, first of all, they will understand, the governments will understand that they don't have a choice. They have to, because they, mm -hmm. they have to get their hands dirty. And uh, as I think the, the, the longer time goes, um, governments will start to uh, hire guys from the private sector that understands this. And then the mm -hmm. smart, clever regulations will come out instead of being behind and against the industry. They will be with the industry you know, in order to, to actually create a regulation that, is, that actually serves the public instead of being some, some, something scary. I see, I see that this is regulation something very positive. Mm -hmm. I see something that we have to live with. And I think that the, the total dream of independency and, and, and I, I think that's not, rea not, not, not realistic and I think that we're not in the Wild West anymore. Mm -hmm. And I think they should be regulated. And I think that at the end of the day, there will be, end of the day, there will be a, a healthy thing for everyone involved. Mm -hmm. So investing.com is famous for taking proactive action. For instance, back in 2017, you guys took a huge step in the acquisition market, uh, acquisition channel of banks. So uh, will the weight of crypto grow in the operation system of investing.com? And if so, what are your future plans? Today, crypto is another vertical of ours. Mm -hmm. It's something that we leave as a vertical. We don't actively get in, uh, act actively involve ourselves in, in trading. Also traditional sets in investing.com has only been a, a focus for information. Mm -hmm. uh, it will stay like that. Um, crypto is something, it's, it's a vertical that is very important for us, something we will keep, keep in, uh, in investing in. We have uh, applications and we won the prize for the best uh, crypto application just a few months ago. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we will keep investing in. Uh, but beyond that, um, there's, no, there's no plans on creating an internal token system within investing.com now. So no uh, IPG tokens coming out, no mm, ICOs? Not that. Who knows what will happen in the future. <laughs> For the moment, there's nothing that we're planning. <laughs> well, that is all the questions we have today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Mr. Miki Winitsky, the CEO of Investing.com. Thank you for watching. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.